had a question from Jeff, one of our new members of the forum over in North Carolina. He's asking about the spindles that I that I've uh, that I'm using on the the Riley here or the uh, Miller. They're similar to the ones I used on the Riley. Uh, a little bit different. Uh, they're pretty much like what you would see on a sprint car or a midget or uh, one of the older race cars, the older uh, 20s era cars that were that, that I'm into. And uh, trucks use the same thing today, bigger trucks. Uh, not, not the half ton, uh, you know, that, that's, that's more like a Rolls Royce nowadays, but the big heavy trucks use the same type of spindle. So I'll go ahead and take this off show you what, what I've got, what the way I make them. You don't need anything anywhere near as complicated as this for a, a uh, cycle cart. The typical little C bracket uh, and tube welded onto your spindle, that's, that's all you really need for these things. But uh, I'm trying to replicate what what Miller did and make it look pretty much like what Miller did back in the 20s on his race cars. So that's why I did this. I'll go ahead and take it off and show you what, what I got here. The uh, kingpin is uh, just 5 8 cold rolled steel. And uh, there's two flats machined on it, and that's where uh, a 5 16 set screw goes in from the back side of the uh, axle boss. and. Uh, keeps it from rotating, locks it in place. And uh, they're drilled with a through hole so that you can oil the bushings up or grease up the bushings. And just the same on both ends, threaded and drilled. The spindle itself is uh, just inch and a half by half cold rolled steel for the upper parts, the lower part. The upright is a three quarter thick inch and a half cold rolled piece. The angles that are milled in here are for the steering geometry. I've got uh, about, uh, I, use a, I use eight degrees on the kingpin inclination and I uh, give it uh, about two degrees positive camber. So that's, uh, that's all figured in with the uh, machine work on this. Then these are welded up. I weld up the three pieces. There's a uh, inch and a quarter boss at the top that's also welded into the, to the uh, top and the bottom here. And that is mostly for the mounting of the steering arms. So one for the tie rod, one for the steering arm. I happen to be using a rack and pinion steering on this, so the steering, the drag link that'll be connected up to this will be a dummy. Uh, if I had central steering, I could use this for the, uh, the drag link. The welding, when it's all done, also the uh, stub axle is, again, that's just cold rolled steel, three quarter inch cold rolled steel. And I single point thread the, the outside. Uh, there's a reamed hole in the upright. This goes through the reamed hole, nice tight fit. And uh, then it's welded on the back side back here. I stub weld in there. I do that because I don't I don't want to have any stress riser at uh, 
at this point here. So if I if I threaded this and threaded it in here or welded it around here, that, that, that that's an area where it could crack on you. So this works out pretty good. It supports it pretty well. I've never had a problem with this. The bushings, once all the welding is done, it's assembled and all the welding is done, then uh, I go through and I line bore it, press bushings into it. These are just oil light bushings from McMaster Carr. It's a uh, 5 8 ID, 3 quarter OD, and 5 8 thick, 5 8 long bushing that's pressed into there. And then I ream the, ream the bushing to make sure that it's straight. So, once they're pressed in, sometimes they're a little bit tight. So, uh, that'll be reamed. Nice tight fit. So that's really about all there is to them. A lot of work, but uh, it's pretty basic uh, as far as the spindle goes. Now, I could round the corners off a little bit and make it real pretty, but uh, right now it's just, uh, I'm just interested in getting uh, everything working the way it should be. the kingpin in place so the steering knuckle is just pivoting on the, the uh, kingpin out at the outer edges out here. That gives it more support. If you pivot the kingpin in the axle you can see there's not much support in there and, and the leverage on it would be greater so it's better to support it out here if you were going to do it this way. That's about all there is to it. I don't think I can tell you much more about it. The uh, steering arms are just 5 8 cold roll steel again, bent to bent to uh, the shape that I that I need. I've got the Ackerman built into it, and uh, these bosses are are the same as the bosses that are up on top here. They're just inch and a quarter cold roll steel welded into the steering arm. So that's about it. Hope that helps you out, Jeff, in understanding what I've done here.